So compound probability is pretty common um, on the um, on either test, and so what you need to know is that if it's and with compound probability, you're going to multiply the two numbers. If it's or, you're going to add, right? Because the probability you can guess one thing and then another should be a lot smaller than the individual probabilities, and the probability you can guess one thing or another should be greater than the individual probabilities. And if you add things, they get bigger, and if you multiply um, fractions that are positive fractions um, less than one, they should get smaller, right? So First things first, if there's a 30% chance on, only a 30% chance on Saturday and a 15% chance on Sunday, the probability it's going to snow both days should definitely be smaller than the individual probabilities. So C and D would already be off, right? And because it's saying that it snows both days means Saturday and Sunday, right? So we're going to take the, the chance that it's going to um, snow on Saturday, which is 0.3. 30%, right? Percent percent just means over 100. 0.3 and then and Sunday 0.15 and we're going to oh, sorry stuff. And we're going to multiply those and 0.3 times 0.15 and times and then we'd multiply by 100 to get a percent would be 4.5, right? So you'd get 0.045 and then multiplied by 100 to get a percent, right? Um move it over so it would be 4.5%, right? But you could at least, like, even if you're really confused on this, I would definitely know this, like, this right here, because you're going to see it on, on either test. Um, but know that, like, the probability that two things in a row are going to happen should be less than at least their individual probability. So you can cross off at least E and E for that reason. But it's answer choice B.